Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and today I'll show you how to send out automated tweets from your Airtable account, and in the description of this video, you'll be actually able to click on the link and send yourself a tweet from our account. Let's go to the workflow. In the previous episodes, I have showed you how to create a simple submission form that people can use to submit data to your Airtable. And in the description of this video, you can find exactly link to this form with the details where you can insert your Twitter handle, which we'll be using in the next, next part. All the information that is submitted through this form is going to end up in another Airtable view. In the previous video, I have showed you also how to verify each of those submissions using Integromat and simple automation inside of Airtable to prove that the email that was submitted on the submission is a valid email. Now, since we know that all the submissions have been verified and that the emails are coming from actual people, we'll use those verified submissions to send a tweet from our account. And when we click on the automation, let's get back to the main automation view, you can actually see that Airtable is suggesting us an automation using Twitter straight away. And you can see that this is actually quite smart because it's finding the status field that we already have and here it says when status is verified post to Twitter. This is fantastic. Let's click on it. Description seems to be fine. We can skip the workflow here. The next step is we are checking that the conditions are correct. And you can see that Airtable has pre-selected the actually logical conditions, what we would expect. When a record matches condition status is verified, then we would take the next step, post to a Twitter account. This is fantastic. So let's go step by step. The conditions are correct. Let's run test. Okay, we see that the test was successful. And you can also see what sort of data was uh, found in the test. This is the only record that we have. So the data visible inside of the test data is everything that we have submitted. But you can always double check here in the details. Okay, that looks good. So let's click done. And the next step will be to post onto the Twitter. What we need to do right now is to select a Twitter account. We have not verified any Twitter account, so we'll have to connect a new Twitter account. So we are connecting a new account. It will automatically redirect us to Twitter and ask to connect this with our table account. Okay, so our account is connected over here. And as you can see that, unfortunately, we cannot tweet out with an at mention. But what we'll do instead, we'll substitute the ad mention for a hashtag. So you can also find that tweet that you have created from inside of the form. So we'll do a quick formula here. And we will use substitute formula. We'll use the string Twitter handle. And we'll substitute ad mention for a hashtag. Okay. So now we have created a hashtag instead of a um, Twitter handle. So what we will say, hi, insert the hashtag. Thank you for your submission. We could also add attachments such as GIF or video files. In our case, we will just add the link to this form. And let's make a test. The test was successful and let's check our Twitter account. And as you can see, the tweet has landed right over here. So now we can click done and turn on this automation. So every time there is a new submission and that submission gets verified, this account will automatically make a Twitter post. I hope that was useful for you guys. And if so, please subscribe for more automation videos.